Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. How are you? Very good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Did you get enough sleep? Yeah, I think it's you caught up and you've Well, I had a few water cars yesterday, but uh. still. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, that'll yeah, put you to record sleep. almost completely, so I'm um, ready for the show tonight. So you've been doing much here? When did you get here? Yesterday? Uh, oh, well, you went to Sydney and back, yeah? Um, I came in Thursday last week mm. and then uh, went to Sydney for a Sydney show on Friday, Fudu in yeah. the home, home club. It's a good club that one. Yeah, so yeah, it was good fun actually. Yeah, I could test uh, <laughs> loads of new tracks. What I really want to uh, really want to play loads of new tracks on Friday, uh, on Saturday, and uh, and Sunday, and also today. Yeah. So Friday was a perfect warm up for me. Like uh, to test them out, see yeah, what the reaction's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, perfect. So yeah, it was great. And then uh, had uh, Saturday went to Melbourne for the Electric Parade show. What you also think of a really um, good vibe actually. Yeah, it was rocking. You were there as well. Yeah, I was there. So tell me how were, what, what, what you were, what were your thoughts about it? <laughs> um, my opinion, I think everywhere was the same sort of music. That was the only sort of uh, thing I thought. The main stage was a lot of sigh. Where you were, sigh. And mm -hmm. uh, out the back was a bit. Did you go out the back? There was like a jungle out there. <laughs> it's like a bush. I I know, yeah, but but maybe the thing because the the, the music is changing a lot at the mm. moment, even the trends now because yeah. it's getting more popular. I think they have, it's good that now everything is a little bit uh, like uh, you can have like a uh, Amada sound yeah. on the same stage with uh, some uh, subculture and some let's say some uh, future sound of Egypt and some Psy and they they put it all together. But maybe now. Now it's time, or maybe in a few months, to, to separate that more, like a little bit more psy oriented guys. Not not only the psy trance, but yeah. also like like me, like I'm doing. Because yeah, your eighty percent my my sound is also uh, start, starting you know, playing to, towards uh, psy at the moment. Yeah. So I'm not really a psy DJ, but still I, I love that energy. Yeah. So that's why I like it. So that's why I'm playing it because I love it. And uh, but I, I yeah. I, 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 it's also, I don't play that much uplifting because uh, I know people like it, but for me, the combination of one uplifting, one side uplifting, yeah. it's, it's a complete mess. So I, I don't, I don't exactly. think that's uh, the perfect combination. So sometimes, you know, when I have to play two hours, I will sometimes do this, do both. Yeah. But yeah. The very first track I heard of you back, it's gone a long way now, was Sun Hump. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did a remix for, especially for Melbourne, uh, for okay. uh, for uh, Australia. I mean, oh, I like to hear it. yeah. And uh, the first time we heard that, we were like, "Who is?" I think Tiesto played it. And we didn't know who it was. We're like, what's this track? We were looking for it everywhere. And from that to kind of where you are today, big change. You think? Well, obviously, everyone progresses. Wow. Um, I have to be honest. Sunham was at that time was a big change for me as well because Sunham was just I love that melody I love mm. the original one so I thought okay we'll do a remix and uh, but it's like um, is that the guitars like yeah, nice melody and uh, you know it's it's such, so much fun it was the one day work in studio and <laughs> and ah oh, that's uh, that's an old track yeah. let's do this and yeah. uh, let's uh, let's rework on this one and yeah so it became quite big uh, but. It, yeah, so that, that's why. That I, was yeah. the. Um, well, you did remixes, Tiesto remix. It was like uh, Lethal Industry. That yeah. one was massive. And mm -hmm. back then, everyone was playing it. Um, do you reckon, do you, what was the kind of like big turning point where it kind of became. Alright, Richard Duran, we'll take him seriously now. Um, was there a turning point? Maybe. No, not really. Very important. It, it all helps, you know. Yeah. If, if a guy in the back in the day like Tiesto says, "Okay, don't for me, don't vote for me in the DJ Mac yeah. it, but vote for Alicia Lashes, Sandra Van Dorn, uh, me." Hardwell was another, was it? Uh, no, Hardwell oh, wasn't, wasn't born it? at the time. I think. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, he said on cam. Perfect. Yeah. No, 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 no. Nothing against him, but that's that's uh, yeah, that's a bit a different thing. Um, but but, I do uh, remember then. Hmm? I do remember when Tiesto came out and said, alright, don't vote for me. Oh. Yeah, they, they, he, he told like five guys or something. Mm. Uh, Lisa Lashes, I sent them from Lisa Lashes and me and uh, the other two. I don't know actually. But yeah, uh, so that was good and uh, and that helps. Yeah. 
and uh, so when you were in the top 100 did it help career wise a lot make a big difference um because there's a lot of guys now who aren't in there but they're still absolutely yeah but doing that's great not things. because the, the, it, 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 it was important back in the days yeah. and maybe if you're top five DJ, then it's okay but I, 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 I'm sure there are loads of people and, and if they're number 60 or number 40 mm. or, or, or 300, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. There's no promoter that, that looks at that and say, oh, China. I, I, will, I will choose him because he's on, he's in the yeah. place number 30. And uh, I, so I will not pick that one because he's on 49. Yeah. Like, but um, there was one of the guys I talk with regularly, he, he was in there and he said Asia. China really look at the top mag. Yeah, you know, like, they don't keep, that, like, that story is also like, uh, top 100 15 years coming. old already. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. And if they, they will do it, you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, for me, it's like I, I, uh, I think Justin Bieber will enter the, that uh, list as well uh, someday. Well, uh, Martin Garrix <laughs> is touring with Justin Bieber later this year. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. So the, the music industry changed a lot, and it's changed so fast. That's only too, almost too fast for me. So the only thing I can do is stick with my own sound and stick with my, you know, what I really love to do, making music and you know, play music and have a yeah. lot of energy in, in what I'm doing. And I know there's always, there's always a tweet. You know, when I when I did in such a sunrise, there was always, oh no, we want to have the banger, the yeah. harder stuff. And then after a few years, you, you do uh, in such a sunrise uh, also, and then you play in such a sunrise set, and then. Uh, or, the, or, or the other way around, you know, yeah. you, you, you play hard and then, no, we want to switch your sunrise, like, we want to have uh, in your hands and like yeah. uh, the beautiful, and also there's got also good music, but it's still like, sometimes you, you're not always want to do it, sometimes yeah. you're really into banging shit and, and make a lot of energy on the, on the dance floor, and sometimes it's, you want to want to make music, what do you want to have in the car, like beautiful vocals, yes, vocals and everything. What I do is, uh, before I'm going uh, on tour, I always just you download a few podcasts, the news, some sports and magazines. I, I really like, you know, when, when people talk about sports, so not really important, but still it's good yeah, to hear something. You said you Especially were, when you're on a plane. A DJ, you'd be a sports teacher, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? Soccer? Football, oh, you call there it? are so many. I really love sports. I really, I'm, I'm really love sports. Like, like in summer, it's cycling. Like, oh, okay, you'll uh, Tour de France. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I can watch five hours, five straight hours in a row. But that's only a few weeks a year. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not so into the in, in, into like uh, the Giro d'Italia or uh, yeah. the Spain uh, uh, tour with the Spain. How it is it? Uh, yeah. uh, but but uh, tour of Flanders. And uh, yeah, but but still, uh, um, Formula One, of course, okay. is my biggest oh, okay. at the moment because uh, Max Verstappen, the Dutch guy, yeah, yeah. he's the biggest talent <laughs> ever. You're gonna miss it. I think the Formula One's here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm too, I'm too early now. Yeah, I, I did. A, I did yesterday. I did a. a, a oh, they're a, setting up. Yeah, I did a very uh, tourist <laughs> tour, <laughs> but okay, I was alone. I thought, okay, yeah, let, yeah. let's do something else. I'm, you know, I'm sitting only in my hotel room, so that's boring. Yeah. So I was, and then uh, we drove this, this, like a, a the piece, track. The, the track, yeah. yeah. And actually, it was funny because. <laughs> They told me, they told in the bus, oh, you can see this is the Formula One, and then they do the sound. <laughs> and then I said, like, where is the track? Where is the track? And I almost yeah. asked the guy next to me, where's the track? And then I realized, oh man, You're it's a street course, of course. So I'm, I'm on it. Yeah. I'm on the track. <laughs> so that was quite stupid. But yeah. now I will never forget that Monaco and Australia is a street. Uh, Tour, how do you say a street, street race? Yeah. Street race, yeah. But uh, yeah, it was uh, so uh, Formula One and uh, soccer. I love uh, play snooker, play pool. So are you like one of those guys who you get a tennis racket, you can do it no problems. You hit it. Uh, yeah, I played badminton as well. Okay. But that, that was One of those very quite athletes. professional, I did back okay. in the days. But it's, uh, you know, uh, when you do a sport, it's really professional, like really, uh, you give everything for it. It's, it's hard to play it a little bit below your... Uh, your Great, uh, yeah. You know, like if I play pool, it's just, I like to play it, but it's not, if it's not 
uh, when I play it now and it's not that good, it's okay. I just still yeah, have yeah. fun. But if, if I play badminton, it's like Very if it's not going, or I will stop immediately. <laughs> So where are we going now? Now we're going to a donut place. A donut place. Donut, Can yeah. you play pool there? No. But <laughs> have you ever heard of a hook turn? A hook turn? Hook turn. Yeah. This is something I think they only do in Melbourne. We're gonna do your very first hook turn. So you have to turn right from the left lane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the reason is, see, so, so see how there's trams. I hope Max Verstappen knows that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has this problem. So see how there's trams in the middle of the road? Mm -hmm. If we were going to do a right-hand turn from the right lane, yeah. you're blocking them off. Yeah. And public transport takes priority, so they want the public transport always going. Mm -hmm. So you don't block off the middle of the road. You have to wait on the side of the road like these guys. Yeah. And then when the light turns red, then they all go. <laughs> oh, that's new for me. Maybe I think good. the only place Maybe it's good that you're driving. And not yeah. Me. Well, you're or I can drive. Side, yeah. I can drive in the tram. <laughs> <laughs> so, the only place in the world that I know of that does this, and everyone says, what? I never see this, saw, saw this before. Yeah, <laughs> I can turn the camera, but everybody yeah. knows, of course. Oh, they'll witness it, we're in the left lane. <laughs> see, that, oh, these guys, he did a bit of a bad job, but... So, I didn't learn anything because it was a complete mess now. <laughs> yeah, he <you> ruined it. <laughs> Two accidents. <laughs> After taking over in search of sunrise, uh, well, it must have been, was it really difficult? In the sense that, so you have Tiesto, he's built up this brand. Nah, it wasn't difficult because there Great. were so many people that were really happy that I continued it. Mm. And uh, and even also a few people that didn't like because it's Tiesto. But mm. there are so, you know, it's almost the same people that says Tiesto is the big trans DJ at mm. the moment. But yeah, come on. Oh, he's, he's so commercial. It's all about yeah. EDM and everything. So what, what can you say? If you like trance, if you if you're into dance music, or whatever, mm. don't say that 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 Tiesto at the moment is is a big trance again because he nah. isn't. That's okay, but he was. Yeah. Not now. Because I think you've um, still kept the vibe and all that sort of stuff. Because I remember that with In Search of Sunrise, it wasn't about banging; it was about yeah, more journey, beautiful melody, yeah, and melody like and vocals, and um, give you know that summer breeze feeling. Uh, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get this sign and we'll give it away today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I had that funny idea, but I didn't do it. I didn't, you know, I was walking through the city and I thought, maybe every tour I need to buy one souvenir, like yeah. a, let's say some souvenir or hair. I don't know what, what's the best souvenir you can get here. But, and then I had to give it away the same night. Oh, okay. But I didn't do it, so <laughs> stupid story Maybe, you can start, Maybe yeah. we can start today, but this is not a souvenir, this is like uh, me, uh, younger. <laughs> what um, some, I heard someone do, does is, everywhere they go, they'll buy a fridge magnet. A what? A, a fridge magnet. A fridge magnet? Yeah, you know the oh, yeah, 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 fridge magnet. Yeah, 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 fridge yeah. Magnet. <laughs> and they'll just get a collection and put them all up on their fridge at home. Yeah. And say, okay, there's one from Melbourne, one from here, one from there. <laughs> Alright, I think we're close now. The problem with Melbourne is parking, but it looks like we're going to have a good luck today. Mm -hmm. Must be you. First thing I learned today was your real name. <laughs> My real name. You, you want me to say it <laughs> yeah, on camera? So, okay. Richard's if someone can come to me and, and 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 just say what I'm saying now, my name is Lene Challing Richard van Schoneveld Double Om Deel Tijd. Then you will get some free drinks. Maybe a bottle of uh, vodka. Yeah, I will, I will give it to you because no one can say that. That's the challenge. I will do it again. Okay. All right. It's called Lene Challing Richard van Schoneveld Double Om Deel Tijd. How long is that on your password? Did you have to like, Oh, maybe it does, guys. Yeah, it's well, coming tonight. Dutch guys. <laughs> uh, well, even then it can't be. <laughs> uh, what's the biggest dish in Holland? Most the biggest famous. dish? Well, not biggest, biggest, but most famous. Yeah, I know what you mean. They've got all those fries places, just potatoes everywhere. Yeah, you get loads of potato. Yeah, bloody <laughs> pancakes is quite big. Oh, yeah, Dutch pancakes, yeah. And yeah. olibola. What's that? Olibola. What's that? It's like... Uh, 
Is it a pastry? Is it a with rose and uh, with rosins in it? And uh, oh, is it? It's like with New Year's Eve, everybody's eating pastry it. Right. Or I'm cake. eating it. It's something like cake. Okay. Are you a good cook? Warm. You cook much? No. I like to. I like to cook. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what's your special dish? What are you best at? <laughs> I'm really good to making salmon. Okay. With vegetables and a little little taste of pasta. Yeah. Start your own cooking show. Yeah, yes, I cookbook. Can, I can do that, yeah. Cookbook with a bit of sai. Yeah. Side of sai. Now of course we have bitter balls. Bitter balls? What's that? Like yeah. What's that? <laughs> like a meatball. Oh yeah. It's really famous in Holland. Beef, pork, lamb. Or just mix. Mix. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Nobody knows what they're putting. <laughs> it's that's like the, a hot dog. A, yeah, <laughs> you don't know that, what's in there. That's a good thing. Because you don't, you don't know what's inside. No, it's, it's actually quite good. <laughs> so going to be eyeballs I don't today? Think, <laughs> I don't think this is a good promotion for a bitter ball because I, well, I think no one in Australia will want to have it. No.